Happy New Year from Bikes Bourbon and Beyond. Welcome back to the channel. You've got a couple seconds. Smash that like button for me. Uh, hit the subscribe if you're uh, interested in more videos related to bikes, bourbon and beyond in 2023 and beyond. And uh, thanks for coming along. Appreciate it. January 1st, 2023, here in the uh, St. Louis metro area in the state of Illinois. Mid 50s, as you can see over my right shoulder, lots of sunshine. Great day to get out and be in the fresh air and uh, enjoy it a little bit. So much better than the negative eight and negative 15 temps we had a couple weeks ago before Christmas. So uh, you gotta take advantage. Chose the uh, Surly Bridge Club because it was lonely and hanging on the hook all winter long. And uh, cruising right along. Got some new handlebars on it and I'll probably feature those here in a little bit this year. But I went with the Jones bars. I'm going to give you a little bit of the view of the trail area, the scenery around here. Is how it works. <laughs> yeah, the new handlebars. So I uh, went with the Jones bars, the H bar with the 2.5 inch rise. I'm um, trying to get my position up and back on the bike a little more. So far, so good. I may swap out the stem for something a little shorter. But uh, more to come on that. Really quiet out here today. I can hear geese in the distance flying. And other birds. Feels like spring even though it's not. Planning on just a short ride today. Nothing too monumental. Just want to breathe the air and make sure the bike's rolling good and get geared up for some higher mile totals than I've had in the last couple of years. So it's time. Looking forward to doing more riding this year. Santa brought a few things under the tree to make some uh, longer trips possible. Um, yeah, short ride today, but more this year. And who knows, may even take a bike or two on the uh, on our vacations that we have coming up this summer. So more to come. said earlier it's January 1st 2023 first ride of the new year and uh, interested in if you're out uh, outdoors today or you're out on a bike what are you riding where are you riding drop a comment below and uh, maybe we could uh, share some stories back and forth coming up here on uh, interstate 55 north and southbound you'll hear the traffic here soon but we got one of these incredibly convenient overpass bridges they built for the bike trail and runners and cross-country ski folks in the winter but it uh, definitely makes 
life on the pedals a lot better, not having to cross traffic. But uh, show you this as we pull up here, see what it's like. This will tell you how warm it is outside. As I'm closing down the video on that overpass, a guy on a Harley Davidson rode by. And you don't do that when it's freezing cold outside. It is a gorgeous day out here. But it could only be this way every single day. I wanna give a shout out. I don't know this guy, he doesn't know me. But uh, check out his channel. YouTube channel traveling through THRU and uh, he is currently posting videos from his trip north to south on the Great Divide mountain bike trail and uh, I may have a few years on him but he's definitely inspirational of what he's up to on his bike he's riding a Surly I think Krampus and uh, it's amazing what these folks can do and put their mind to and it's good stuff just check him out just had a couple of folks on e-bikes go by and uh, I'm not against e-bikes but they weren't even pedaling I mean they just had the thumb on a throttle and they were cruising it's like a moped back from the 1980s you gotta pedal that's awesome I couldn't figure out why you had real helmets on, but now I understand. Awesome. This one will sit too, actually. All right, have a great day, guys. Came up on those two guys who were staying alongside the road or the trail, and they had like full motorcycle helmets on. I couldn't figure it out. I was looking for their their motorcycle, and they've got these electric unicycles that they ride kind of like uh well like an electric unicycle similar to um the electric two-wheeled bike can't think of it right now but you know what i mean and uh yeah they're cruising down the trail and guy says it'll break the speed limit so awesome stuff i mean just take a look over my shoulder at the blue sky the puffy clouds I mean, I brought gloves along. I haven't needed them. Um, I'm wearing sweatpants. I normally ride in shorts. I probably should be in shorts. That's how nice it is today. But uh, I didn't want to whine in front of the camera about how cold it was. But it's not cold at all. It's a gorgeous day. Blessed on January 1st. The uh, bike trail I'm riding on today is formerly a railroad, so a rail to trail. It's part of the Madison County transit trail system here in Illinois. And this particular section is, I believe, called the Ronald Foster Trail. It connects between Glen Carbon, Illinois, and Troy, Illinois. Maybe Marine, Illinois. I think it's Marine. And, uh, it's uh, pretty flat and really wide open once you get out into the, the country away from town. <laughs> 